Good morning. There are three severe flood warnings in force at the moment. One in Northamptonshire, two in South East Wales. That means danger to life and also significant disruption. As we go through this week, there will still be some rain and showers in the forecast, but not the volume that we saw at the weekend. I'll have the details shortly. Had a bit, Carol, after the weekend. It is, yes. We're not going to see the same volume of rain that we had at the weekend, but as we go through this week, there will still be some showers in the forecast. And of course, the river is still responding to the rain that we did see at the weekend. In fact, at the moment, there are three severe flood warnings in force, one in Northamptonshire, two in South East Wales. A severe flood warning means danger to life and also catastrophic disruption, if you like. Well, we've seen that in the news already, haven't we? Storm Burt still crossing the north of Scotland. It's a steep area of low pressure. The isobars are squeezed, telling you that it's going to be windy. We still have gales across western Scotland and showers coming in on the blustery wind across western areas. And we've got a weather front which is continuing to clear away from the southeast of England. Now, all of that bringing rain, of course, the rain moving across Scotland as we go through the course of the day, some of that heavy. The showers continuing across Northern Ireland, in through Northwest England, Wales and the Southwest. We could see one or two getting into the Midlands. Some of those will be heavy. You may hear the odd rumble of thunder, but behind the rain, which will clear from the southeast, there'll be a lot of dry weather and there will be some sunny spells as well. Temperatures today are ranging from eight to about 13 degrees, so not as warm as it was yesterday. Through this evening and overnight, the low pressure, which is Storm Burt, continues to push away into the North Sea. The tail end of it still bringing in some showers and also some gusty winds across the northeast of Scotland. And still a few showers coming in in the wind across other western parts of the UK, but not as frequent. The snow level dropping down in the Highlands and Grampians to about 400 metres. These are our overnight lows, 2 to about 5 degrees. Then as we head on into tomorrow, Storm Burt continues to move away. And we're also looking at the winds easing. But later in the day, we've got this next system approaching from the southwest, and that's going to bring in some rain. So the showers with us for a time across the northeast Scotland, the winds easing. A few showers coming in across western Scotland, northwest England, north Wales, northern Ireland. And then it will start to cloud over, the sunshine turning hazy in the southwest ahead of that low pressure. But a lot of dry weather tomorrow with temperatures between 5 and about 11 degrees. So in comes this area of low pressure. Now, there's still an element of doubt as to just how far north it's going to get, but it will rattle through quite quickly. We could have 10 to 15 millimetres of rainfall coming from this. And as it clears the way on the back edge of that low pressure, we could have gusty winds gusting as much as 50 miles an hour across East Anglia and Kent. But on the other side of it, a lot of dry weather, there'll be some sunshine, still a peppering of showers here and there in the west, and temperatures 2 to about 10 degrees. After that, high pressure settle things down, there'll be drier conditions, but there'll be widespread frosts at times and also some fog to look out for. John and Sal. But a bit of a break from the rain. Thank you for mm -hmm. now, Carol. Thanks. Thanks.